Hey guys, it's Amber, and I'm getting ready to work on my Felicity Jane unboxing. Just received it in the mail. I'm a little bummed because they are quitting scrapbooking. Uh, they won't be making kits anymore, and this is going to be their last December kit as well. So I was a little bummed because they always have a really great kit every year. So this is like a gift tag kind of thing. Really nice. Um, just a thank you card there. But you could take like a circle punch and punch that out if you really wanted to. They always pack their stuff up really nicely. So I bought the full kit and maybe a handful of extras. I'll have to take a look. Um, I definitely got another pack of their poppins. These are really great for adding stuff in. And this was not a part of the kit, but I added that on as well just because I really love that font that they use. Basically gonna pull everything out because it's like just chock full of stuff here. We'll go through the paper and all the little bits together. Let me get this box off of my desk here. So this year's kit is called Ivy, and I had hesitations about buying the entire thing, but there was some really nice stuff that you could just use year after year, so I decided to go for it. There's some doilies tucked inside there, like a little bonus for when you buy the whole kit. Sorry, I fell on the floor, I didn't realize they were in there. So one thing that people always love to suggest is that you can cut these out and use these for little extras on things that you might need. They're also just great for helping you see what all is in here. So they've got this beautiful poinsettia paper, which is on this like light pink background. And on the back we have like a green, it's like three little stripes. And then there's a little house print along the bottom. We've got like a gumdrops, scallops kind of pattern here with a red gingham on the back the scallop border. The house is in a larger print here. This one's cottage and snow with a great blue snowy background. So it's all polka dots and then every once in a while there's a little snowflake with stripes on the back. This one is the tree farm. So there's decorated trees here. There's like little ornaments on them. Great pattern with pink. It's like a charcoal brownish kind of tone. It's not full black, that's for sure. And then there's a gingham on the back. That same color here with a stripe. It's not a full black. And then like a polka dotted kind of pattern with some stars here and stripes. A candy cane, which is like a bright pink and a lighter pink that I really like. Plaid with some polka dots. And then they have their famous scout papers in four colors that match the kit. So really lovely patterns there. Let's just dive right in. So this one is six different library pockets and six different labels. So these, you'd probably have to use like a slick writer to label on these because they have a shiny finish, but there's two pinks, a blue, red, green, and black. And then these have uh, sort of a snowflake flower pattern, green plaid, black and white polka dot, stripes, black and white um, window pane kind of design, and then a gingham. The great thing about these is they don't have to go in just a December album. You can use these with nearly anything. I'm trying not to repackage everything, but these are small. I don't want to lose them. And here we have their chipboard fists. There's 13 different pieces in here. So we've got this really fun house, which is really cute. We've got a thermos, a wreath, a stocking. We've got some holly and berries there, a Christmas memories banner, a hot cocoa mug with a gingerbread guy, a cocoa word, word home, a candy cane, a bow, and then two little trees. Super darling. You can make a fun little scene with some of these. Mm -hmm. 
And then I also have some word confetti that is chipboard as well. And these are um, a white based chipboard and you can peel off the layers if you want. They're a little more difficult than normal like brown chipboards, but it can be done. So something to keep in mind if they're a little too thick. So these, I don't want to open all of them, but I'll just give you an idea of the word confetti. They're all on a white background. Some have script, some are just different fonts, but they say stories, jingle all the way, magic, holiday baking, all is calm, merry little Christmas, ho, 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 dear Santa, movies, music, tradition, snuggles, 25, stockings, joy, believe, there's a tree, December, and gift exchange. So really love the mix of fonts on there and the colors. This is a sticker sheet that looks like stamps. Again, I'm not gonna pull this one out, but we've got the houses, the stocking, the joy, um, like a shop window scene, and then the tree, and they all say Merry Christmas on them. Those are really cute. Here we have the die cut shapes. I always love their girl. This year I didn't buy the stamp. I usually buy the girl stamp, but um, this year I didn't. But there's um, quite a few pieces here. So we've got Merry and Bright. Got a stuffed package with presents. That's really cute. Here's the girl Ivy holding a stocking. Got a banner, a bow, more presents stacked up that says no peeking. That's really cute. Got a Christmas cake, candy canes and peppermints. Got a die cut blue with a tree there. That's cute. Got a plain tag, several labels in different shapes. Then there's a circle, got a couple stars here, three different ornaments that are really cute. Another label here, we've got a joy banner and then like five different color hearts and then a 25 tag. That's really cute. Love the colors of the kit this year. They're very fun and bright. I'm afraid to lose. So here, these are some chipboard frames. They're not quite nested chipboard, but just a variety of sizes. There's eight pieces there. So we've got a blue scallop with the snow pattern, plain green. It's like a green and white circle, a stripe. And then the smaller ones here, we've got almost like a cog wheel, pink scallop, like kind of a wreath sort of pattern, and then a dark red. Those are really fun. Jumping into the three by four card pack. We've got the patterned, or the decorated Christmas tree. We've got a stripe pattern in the colors. Holiday playlist. We've got a plaid pie chart, which can be really fun. It's the most wonderful time of the year. 25 with um, one of the prints of the patterns. A calendar. Hopefully that's the 2022 calendar. That would be nice. I'll have to take a look. Um, a pink book card. So author title date. The library card I mean. This is like a gingham plaid. Five different labels or quote kind of bubbles you could cut apart or keep together. And then we've got a ho ho ho. Those are really cute. We've got the stamp set this year. They always have great Christmas stamps. So we've got Christmas favorites, See the Wonder, No Peeking, Some uh, Stars, Oh What Fun, Creating Magic, Ho Ho Ho, Happy Mail, Holiday Traditions, Tis the Season, Joy, The Very Best Part, December, and The Outline, a Couple of Trees, Some Tree Stands, which is smart, and The Word Ivy, which is always a stamp. I like that they include the name of their sets on their stamps. So we've got a number one through 31 chipboard set here. And I like these because they're a really nice small size. You don't always want huge, especially if you're doing a six by eight album. So there's the color scheme for those. Really fun. We've got some epoxy stickers here for Ivy. It's listed as 54 pieces. Here we've got designer tabs, which is always great. There's 10 pieces here. These again are that slicker cardstock, um, so you'll need a slick writer or like stays on ink to stamp on them. We've got stories, 
cookies. I love that it's like specific like that. A polka dot with a label, blue gingham with a label, pink and red polka dot, like a Swiss dot pattern label, a blue, or sorry, a brown gingham. We've got magic, some sort of retro-y pattern there with a label. We've got Santa and memories. And these come with the adhesive on them already, which is really cool. So you can just peel and stick, which is just fantastic. So those are fun, especially when you have smaller things or you don't want to be able to touch everything in the album that maybe has transparencies. It's nice to be able to throw something on there. The fact that they're two pieces and already have adhesive is so fantastic. This is a cardstock fringe, which is six inches. So that would be really cute along the bottom of like a four by six photo. And it comes in these five colors that you see here. And you could probably texture it up a little bit to make it interesting. Here it comes with a gold chipboard outfit. outfit. I can't think tonight. Uh, chipboard alphabet with numbers, which is always really nice to have. So there's um, two of everything, including some zeros and a few little punctuation pieces, which is nice with commas. Yeah, it's a great set. They have gold puffy words here. Merry Christmas, memories, tis the season, joy, cozy, and then this um, circle with the tree removed, and then all these little dots to kind of help add some emphasis. That's a great set. These are, let's see here, getting there. So the Ivy dividers, there's six pieces in here, which include um, a pocket, some transparencies, they always have a really fun set here. So we have a teal blue polka dot transparency. And if that doesn't match your December daily, you can keep that and use it for just about any other project. We've got trees. That's really cute in a six by eight. And this one's just a black and a black window pane design. Here there's a scalloped border wow. edge with 12 circles that have already been die cut out. That's fun. And if you didn't want to have all of them there, you could cut one off or you could cut off the scallop if you didn't like that. We've got a gold star here. It's really cute. And then a pocket. They usually do a pocket every year. This one's red. Um, before, I think they've been slanted potentially, but they were always black. So I love that they changed the color. And I love that the pattern is all on the back as well. So you don't have to, well, you can decide either to let it show or to cover it. Your choice, of course. That's a great set of stuff to help you add some unique textures to your album. We've got um, some gift tags that I got that I just kind of thought would be good for, you know, you never know. There's six pieces here. This one is the neutral set. I think they're the same designs. Yeah, one's in a colorway and one's in black and white. So I'll open up the colorway. So these are already pre-punched tags. And I just thought, you just never know, they could be a really fun embellishment to add. So we've got probably about a two and a half or three inch circle there. With the tree, the holly, the 25 tag like I got there. We've got um, joy, a stocking, and then merry, 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 merry. So really cute. And again, comes the same designs in black and white. And they're just a really nice and large size, which is awesome when you're doing like a 10 by 8 album because then you have something cool to add. So this was something fun that they created. These are photo prompts, but I thought it would be a fun embellishment to add into an album. It's really more what I was thinking. So it's got a pocket on the back, which is really cool. But these little windows pop up and this one says like lights. Let's something help me pop these up. A list, holiday movie, countdown. So all of the window panes open up. And I think the door, the weather outside is. So they're like just photo prompts. So it's really cute. But I, like I said, I thought it'd be fun to add something and like put this in the album itself. So we'll see. This was not part of the, the kit, but um, something that I added on that was part of the collection. This, I believe, also was not part of the kit. It's their six by eight paper pack. Just had some different designs that match. And it was fairly inexpensive, so I decided to go ahead and add that. 
So we've got the poinsettia print in a smaller design. Oh, and they're double-sided, so this one's got stripes. This is a bunch of labels in a mini size, and then a stripe pattern on the back. Got blue gingham with stockings, that's really cute. Got the plaid again with, this is two four by sixes, it could be December, and then one through seven. And, oh, it looks like they are duplicated. So, there's the pattern papers. In there. We are almost done, guys. Last, we have the trim pack. This one's always really fun. They always include really cool stuff. You can buy this separately, but it is included in the kit. So we have a shaker star with sequins in it. It's like, um, they're supposed to be like clear and ivory, but that's really cute. It already has the hole on it, so you can dangle it from something. Um, there is a red gingham washi tape, and it also came with a plaid, or not plaid, sorry, like a striped block color ging um, tape. There's a combo here of their red and green wide paper clips, which are always really nice to add on to. And you didn't have to choose which color to order, which was nice when you got the kit. So for the trims, we've got this like um, Chanel kind of red yarn. We've got Rick Rack in like a brownish taupey color, whatever you call that. It's like a, I don't even know what you would call that, but there you are. We've got a white soft fuzzy one here. A thicker white soft fuzzy one. These are really fun and they're so soft. There's like a gold tinsley kind of trim. You can tell I really know my trims guys. Um, this is kind of like would be really cute on like a Christmas tree. It looks like a clear sparkly garland. We've got more of a thinner yarn here in red. Great for tying on tags. Got a really soft green yarn. We've got a red, a, it's kind of like a pink and white striped like a grogain ribbon and then a really thin red here so that's really cool and that is pretty much everything we dove right through that so um i believe that they still have kits they do have um no new albums this year that i saw but um you should still be able to check it out i will link it in the video details for you below thanks so much for watching